Okay, so today I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools for making puzzles. It's called the Puzzle Generator by Bose Publishing, and it's a tool that helps you create puzzles, modify their position, and make bulk changes. Now, the reason I like using PowerPoint is that it's quite easy to adjust your puzzles, change your fonts, and set everything up the way you like, and then simply export it as a PDF when you're done. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. Let me show you how this puzzle generator works. So I'll start by creating a new slide, and we'll jump over to the puzzle section. So we've got a lot of puzzles to choose from. I'll just stick with Sudoku because it's something that we all know. You get a game explanation uh, that you can include, or you can continue without it. We've also got a lot of options to choose from. That's something I really like with this puzzle generator compared to others. You can choose the font that you'd like to use for your puzzles. You can change the color and set a title. I've already set it as Sudoku earlier. You can choose the font size and the level of puzzles that you'd like. I'm going to make some easy puzzles today. Okay, then you've got the arrangements of how you'd like the puzzles set out and how many pages of puzzles you'd like, as well as how many per grid. So I'm going to do six per grid and two pages of puzzles. Okay, so after a few seconds, we've got our puzzles ready. We've got two pages of puzzles and two pages of solutions. You can make additional changes once the puzzles are all made. So for instance, we've got this word easy here that is quite small. What I could do is increase its size. Let's say we want to increase it to 16, and I want to move it a bit higher up. Okay, then I go back to the puzzle generator and I click adjust all. Once I do that, if I go to the second sheet, I'll see that this one has been moved as well. In this case, it's moved this one in the solutions. I'll just get rid of that. As you can see, it's quite easy to make bulk changes to your puzzles without needing to do it on each individual one. So I could just change each of these, maybe do them in bulk, and then have the puzzle generator move all of them into the right place. Okay, another thing you can do with this puzzle, for example, let's say I want it to be a bit closer to the center. I could just say move it over to the right. And then if I look on the next page, this one's moved over to the right. So is this one. So is this one. So that means that I can easily take all my puzzles, move them over to the right, take all of these, move them over to the left. And if I was running out of space in KDP, if I was out of the margins, I could easily move my puzzles and have them in the center. Okay, but what if you want more than six puzzles per page? Well, we can use bulk import to do this. What you need to do is go to your puzzles and say that you want 12 pages with one puzzle per page. It'll make sense in a second. Okay, now that our puzzles are done, we can simply go to the image tools where we can export them as PNG images. So we wanna export all 24. So there's 12 puzzles and 12 solutions. I can choose to make them normal size or twice as big, three times as big, etc. I'm gonna say I want them at normal size and then it'll ask me where it would like me to save them. So I'm gonna pop them into this folder let it do its thing, and we're done. Now we'll have a folder with 24 puzzles in it. Okay, so what we can do now is just get rid of these, and we'll go to our image tools and choose bulk import images. And now we can choose our settings. We can set a title, we can choose how many images we want, we can say we want 15 images, 20 images, I'm gonna say 12 images per page. Click OK. Boom, there we go. Okay, another thing you can do is set the gutter size. If you've used KDP, you will sometimes see that your books will be too close to the spine of the book. With this, you can set the gutter size, let's say 0.2, and it will move everything from the one page over to the right and everything on the next page over to the left. And it'll keep doing that back and forth throughout your puzzles so that they'll all be away from the spine. You can also add page numbers. It'll put them on the outer edge, so it'll be one here, two here, etc. But you can set it up how you'd like. Another thing you can do is create coloring books. So we simply add an image that has some thick lines along it, and we use the outline tool, which will remove the colors and just leave you with the outline of the image, which you can use for your coloring books. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different tools that you can use to easily make coloring books, puzzle books, and to quickly arrange them all in one tool. And that's a general overview of the Puzzle Generator by Bose Publishing. You'll find a link to it in the description if you'd like to try it out for yourself.